Hello, this is Jesus Castillo for rubyguides.com and this video I want to help you build a image downloader image downloader with Ruby okay so I'm going to walk you through every step that you need to accomplish this okay we're going to go step by step so let's go Get started right away. This is my screen, okay? And what do we need? Well, we're going to use the Nokokiri gem. Nokokiri gem, okay? So let's require Nokokiri. That's our first step. And we're also going to need something like REST client. So REST client allows you to request data from a website and get the HTML from the website, okay? And that's what we want for this exercise, okay? And before do, I do that, let me show you a little plan of what we need, okay? So here is a thing I recommend often. When you don't know exactly what to do to for a project, I want you to take out a notepad, physical notepad, or you can use, do this, do this inside your editor with comments, however you want, okay? And uh, what you want to do is to describe in plain English, okay? Describe in plain English the steps that you will need to do to accomplish this goal or to implement this feature, okay? So what are the steps here? Well, step number one, we're going to need the website and request, request the HTML, okay? So we can find the images, okay? That's what we're doing, we're doing an image toolader, okay? So first step is to request HTML, second step, what will it be once we have the HTML, okay? Well, we need to convert this HTML into something we can work with, okay? So that's what Nogogiri does for you. So convert, another word for this is parse the HTML. So we can work with it, okay? And why do we need this step? Well, this step is very important because when we do step one, what we're going to get is a string. It's just a string, a bunch of data, a bunch of letters and symbols, right? Doesn't really mean anything before giving it some structure, okay? So that's why we need to step two. Now, Kogiri, we take that text, if we understand it, and we break it down into parts into pieces that make sense that have some meaning okay so once we have that what do we need to do well we need to find the images okay we need to find the images so we can download it well the image links let's just start with the images themselves which are the in IMG tags. So let me, we can do that. Or just do this, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so stop. step number four will be to find the source. The source, well, the image URL from the image tag, okay? So that's step number four. Our last step, now we are ready to download the image. Download the image and save it. So as you can see, this might seem like a very simple exercise, and it is, project, but by breaking it down like this, it's it's very clear 
what we need to do, okay? We can clearly see the steps that we need to take in order to finish this project. So if we start with the first one, request HTML. So to do that, we're going to use the REST client gem and the get method. So let me just run this to make sure we don't have any issues, any problems. Okay, I think it's working. So we need a website. So I'm going to use my own website, which is rubyguides.com. Okay. And uh, now we are going to save this. Um, like this, let's look at it. Let's look at this. What do we get? This is an object, okay? So when you get something like this with the angle brackets and some class name and things inside, what this means is that we have an object, okay? So what can, what can, you, what can you do with an object? Well, you can use methods on the object. And with these methods, it's like you're giving commands to the object. You're telling it to do things, okay? So what do we want? Well, we want the actual HTML. So let's do that. I believe this is something like body. Yes. So now you see we have the actual text. This is the HTML. Whoops. This is the HTML. And if I print it like this, we can see it more easily. There we go. That's the HTML. Okay. And one thing, one thing, let me explain one thing. What if you didn't know this body method existed? Well, knowing that you're working with this REST client, then with I delete this. You're also going to know that this is a REST client response class. Okay, you know that because of this I'm highlighting. So you will go to Google, okay, and you will copy and paste this. And you will probably come up with the documentation for this class. And there is your list of methods, okay? The methods that this object has. That's how will you figure out that body is a thing. Okay, if you didn't know. So let let me let me go back to this. Now we have the HTML. So what does that mean? Is it means that step one is done, and we can go to step number two. Okay, let's keep going. Step number two requires for us to use nokokiri. So we are going to create a new variable. Then we're going to use nokogiri, nokogiri, and we need the document class, I believe, and then the parse method. And again, you will figure this out by looking at the documentation, okay? Don't fear the documentation, that's where a lot of times your answers are, okay? So what are we parsing? We're parsing the HTML. So we get an error. Okay, I believe this the cookie HTML parse. Yes. So no errors. So what that means is now we have a no cookie HTML document. So this is another object, as you can see. Another object. And just like this other object that we got before. We can also use methods, okay? So it's all about knowing what object you're working with and what methods are available for you to use, okay? So let's go into the next step. So we're done with step number one and step number two. So next step where we find the image tags, okay? 
How do you do that? Well, with a method, like I said. So we're going to take our Nokogiri object and we're going to use the CSS method. CSS method, okay? Um, how does this work? Well, it takes a CSS selector, okay? So what do we want? We want images. So let's see what happens. There we go. It looks like we got some images. So that's good. So we're we are ready done with step three. Was it that easy? So step three done. Let me save this into another variable image. Images. How about that? Or image tags. More specific. Okay. So we are ready for our next step, which is number four. Notice how I, I am following the plan. Okay, sometimes the plan will not work and do we need to try something else and that's fine. Okay, but it's important to have some initial plan you can work with. Okay, so let's move into step number four. So this image tags um, map. So we need map because we are going to, we have an array, okay? So this image text is an array. Why I don't know it's an array? Because if you look closely, you pay attention, you will see this square brackets right there highlighted. So what that tells us is that this is an array of objects, not just one object, it's an array of objects. So we need map. And we're going to get our image and just print it. Okay, see what happens. You want to make smaller steps. Okay, step by step, do we get anywhere? <laughs> yes, step by step, you will get anywhere. Just need to go slowly. Okay, so we can see that we have two images. I expected more, but that's good for now. Let's keep going. So that that's half of step four, okay? This is like a sub item of our step number four on our plan, project plan, or project outline, whatever you want to call this, okay? So what's next? Well, we need to extract extract the source value and there we go that's our sources let me print this more clearly okay and we have two images and that's the urls so what that means is that step four is done we can go into step five what's a step five Download the image and save it. Okay, so let's do that. And I think we can reuse this map and do restclient.get that. Okay, and let me convert this. Okay, and that will be your file. Okay. Let's confirm that this is doing something. We're going to see a lot of weird characters. Or not, let's see what's wrong. But URI, no host provided. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. So here's the problem, the URLs, Look like that, like this. Look, puts. They have this format. So what we need to do one stack step that we didn't expect, that we often happen, that you didn't expect to have to add another step, and that's to normalize or convert 
this URL into something that our REST client gem can work with. Okay. So let's do that. URL equals this HTTP plus or let's do this. Hold on. Do, do, do. Okay, I believe that we get the job done. Okay. Now we're going to use URL instead of that. And that's working. Like I said, that's a lot of hexadecimal characters. That's because that's the image itself. Okay. So now the next step, the last step, will be to take this file and then do file.write to save it to disk. Okay. File name, um, let's use um, something for now, like that. So, what this will do is we save every file, every image as one.png. So, we can only save one image, not very useful, right? So, we can use the URL, okay, and just pick the last part of the URL. So name equals URL dot split. Okay. So this we break or break or string into pieces and we pick the last one. So hopefully that's what we want. Let's try it. it's done we should be able to open the file and there it is that's the file that's the logo from my side okay that's the logo at the top and there is also the image of my book ruby deep dive okay which i recommend to you if you enjoy this okay and there is also a chapter on pry which is very helpful so that's the logo and the other thing is the book which we can find the image name is let's see 3d cover okay and we should have it available open 3d cover right there okay so that's our image downloader i hope you found this useful and interesting Okay, if you did, please do me a favor and subscribe to this channel so you can get more videos like this. And you might also want to share it with all of your friends that are interested in Ruby. Okay, so they can also benefit from this video and this training. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate your time. See you in another video.